What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, welcome my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Pisces, and you enjoy my content, you can uh, smash the sub button if you want to be notified for future readings. Just saying. Uh, welcome in all the newbies. Um, so glad to have you guys. Just saying. Uh, and welcome, to, welcome everybody else. Uh, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. I want to take a moment and say thank you to everybody for all the love and support of the channel. It's very overwhelming in a positive way, and I just want to say thank you for all the likes, subscribe, shares, and donations to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 05, links in the search box below. Cash app only, no PayPal, no Venmo. Okay, so I got two channeled in as I was meditating on your weekly energy for the month of November of 2021. And the first one I got um, was a court case is about to be lost soon. And the second one I heard, um, stolen money is about to be handed over, whether it wants to be or not. So a court case is about to be lost soon. That could be uh, you losing a court case or somebody you're connected to. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, you, however, you're connected to the court case. You could be a family member. You could be defendant, plaintiff, um, the law, legal team, um, however that resonates. But, um, but somehow you are connected to a court case in some shape, form, or fashion if that message resonates with you. It's about to be lost. So I think maybe for some of you guys, you didn't think it was going to be lost or um, maybe it's going to come as a shock. You plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates. I didn't hear that. That's just my intuitive feelings and guesstimates on that. And then um, uh, stolen money is going to be handed over whether it wants to be or not. So that could be you helping um, hand over the stolen money that has been stolen or you have the stolen money and you don't want to hand it over. However, that resonates, if that resonates with you, but somebody has some stolen money and they don't want to, they don't want to hand it over, but, um, it sounds like it's going to be handed over whether it wants to be or not. So, however, you're connected into that. You plug it in, how it resonates, spirit messages you have for the sign of Pisces. Okay. The Hermit Upright, Three of Wands Upright. A Pisces is about to learn some very important information soon. It's going to cause them to take some great action. Some, they're going, to, they're going to want to take this action, some not. Some regarding a toxic family. Some regarding legal issues. Some regarding a vacation. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. So taking some action, very important information you're about to learn, you're about to take some action. Some, it's legal. Um, in the legal sector um so you plug that in how that resonates um you could be the legal team you could be a plaintiff a defendant a family member some kind of legal action um legal information some it is um some something regarding a toxic family so your toxic family or somebody connected to you toxic family and some regarding a um uh what was the other one? Um, oh, vacation, vacation. So that could be you going on vacation or somebody you're connected to going on vacation. Um, congrats to whoever that's for. For some, you could be dealing with Virgo. This is Virgo energy, going within, self-reflecting, self-caring, contemplative energy. Um, if you are, they get Virgo and there's some moon rising, Venus, Ortho, Midheaven, Jupiter. And then this, this three of wands is the action you're going to take with this important information. You plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Your messages you have a sign of Pisces. Someone is about to get wind of child support being paid to another person. They did not disclose this in the information. We're trying to hide it. 
Okay, I heard someone's about to get wind of child support that's being paid to another person. Um, they did not, they were trying to hide it. So that could be, I think it's somebody, I don't think it's you, Pisces, if this resonates with you. I think it's somebody you're connected to in some shape, form, or fashion, according to the message. Somebody's paying child support to somebody, um, they could be paying it to you, but they're paying it and they're not telling somebody else they're supposed to be telling, I think legally. Um, that they're paying this child support, but I heard it's about to come out. It's about to come out. It's about to be exposed. For some of you guys, they could be paying it to you, and they're trying to hide it from like a baby mama, baby daddy, or ex-spouse, or ex-partner, etc., or their legal team, or someone in the community they're supposed to expose it to, but um, they're not. I don't feel it's you. Uh, you you could be the baby mama, baby daddy, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, but it's not you. It's somebody you're connected to that um, is hiding this information about child support. I think they're paying you. Uh, but I heard it's about to be exposed. You plug it in, how it resonates, or you could be the legal team they're hiding it from, or somebody else important in the community they're hiding it from, and they should have told you, however that resonates. Queen of Swords reversed, the Empress reversed. It's going to cause this Pisces to be very angry, very angry. Okay, I heard it's going to cause this Pisces to be very angry, very angry. So you're when you find out that whoever this is that's disclosing the fact that they're either paying you child support or they're paying somebody else child support in secret, um, it could be under the table or it could be through the legal system. It's going to make you very angry. Um, so you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates for you. And that could be the action energy too. Maybe uh, you're going to take some action when you find out this person has been lying to you and they're secretly paying, um, well, for some, it don't have to be secretly paying, but they're paying some kind of child support, either through the legal system or under the table, but they're not telling anybody they're doing it. Um, and they're not disclosing it to people they should be disclosing it to. Queen of Swords reverse, Empress reverse. Someone recently started a tarot card reading channel. It is not going well at all. Hardly any revenue. Secrets are about to be exposed on this to an earth sign. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. Holy crap. So, um, this could be you or somebody you're connected to, but, um, somebody recently started a tarot card reading channel, I heard, but I heard it's not going well. It's not going well, and I heard hardly any revenue. So, probably not a lot of donations. Maybe, um, maybe you haven't hit, if you're on YouTube, you haven't hit the, um, point to, uh, monetize possibly. Um, but however that resonates, it's not a lot of revenues being brought in from this tarot card reading business. Um, it could be you or somebody you're connected to that has this fairly new tarot card reading business. I heard an earth sign is about to find out about this. So earth signs are Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, and they're so moon rising, Venus, Ortho, Ben, Haver, Jupiter. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. For some, you could be connected to this person that just recently started the tarot card reading business. For some, you could be the one that has started the tarot card reading business. Um, but somehow an earth sign is very significant in this. Um, this is the tarot card reader that recently started the business. They're unstable, ungrounded, unreliable, unpinnable. Um, they're not bringing in the money the way they thought they were going to, I'm presuming. Um, I heard hardly any revenue. Um, and then they were keeping it from this earth sign. Um, somehow you're significant in this Pisces. So for some, you could be the readers or you could be a family member of the reader or a coworker or a neighbor, et cetera, et cetera. But you're somehow connected to this reader. If this resonates with you, uh, but they were hiding it from the earth sign. The earth sign could be a spouse, it could be a lover, it could be a situation ship, it could be a family member, um, however that resonates. But it's coming out to this earth sign, this Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Maybe the Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo lent this uh, person, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, money to start the business, possibly. Uh, maybe for some, but somehow they, they're about to be notified or be told about it. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Or they're about to find out in some shape, form, or fashion. Spirit messages you have for a sign of Pisces.
A particular Pisces is about to cut off some business services, some a relationship with the air sign. It's going to piss them off very greatly. Okay, so you plug it in how that resonates for you, if that resonates with you. Part of particular Pisces is about, for some of you guys, you're about to cut off business services and for some a relationship. So, you know, I think you are providing business services to this air sign or this um, earth sign, um, however that resonates for you. Um, but you're about not to. I heard it's going to piss them off. So it's going to piss off this air sign or this earth sign if this resonates with you. They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine, or Jupiter. This is a conflict energy. They're going to be pissed when you cut it off. For some, it's business services. For some, it's relationships. So they're going to give you conflict, give you grief, give you hell, because they don't want to cut off. Um, but you're about, you're about to cut it off. And then Nine of Swords Upright is stress, anxiety, worry, fear. Maybe, I think you're having stress, anxiety, worry, fear by staying in this business relationship with this air sign or this earth sign, or stress, anxiety, worry, fear by staying in this relationship with this um, earth sign or air sign. For some, it could be two, um, air sign and earth sign. You plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you, but you're about to cut it off. So it sounds like you're about to do what's best for you. You plug it in how that resonates, if that resonates for you. I'm going to pull you a um, oracle. Spare messages. Okay. Spare messages you have for sign of Pisces. Yeah, and you got boundaries. I heard you're about to cut off some of... Um, Business relationship and some relationship with the air sign and earth sign. You got boundaries and assessing. So you're, you are assessing what you need to do before you cut off this business relationship or relationship for some. For some, you are, and you're going to put your boundaries up. You're going to put your boundaries up. You're going to assess and realize you need to cut it off, whether it's a business relationship um, or a relationship. For some, um, it could be cutting off the person that's very, um, you're connected to this tarot card reader that just recently started this tarot card reading business, um, and you're going to cut off their relationship with this person, possibly, um, possibly, and for some, um, assessing as far as legal matters and um, vacation and things like that, putting your boundaries up, setting healthy boundaries, um, doing what's best for you. Number nine or 12 could be very significant, nine or 12. These could be significant um, ages in your life in some shape, form, or fashion um, of other people, because uh, these are 18 or over channel. Um, it could be a um, um, possible date of birth number, possible social security number, possible green card number. It could be a um, um, possible lottery number or a... Um, Jersey number of you or somebody you're connected to. It could also be a significant numbers you're seeing out on billboards or advertisements in some shape, form, or fashion. Assessing. A Pisces is about to really, really start. After a shocking series of chain of events, they're about to really, really start looking at the bigger picture of things. Some Pisces are about to cut off people in their life they never thought they would cut off. Okay, so you plug it in in your life, how that resonates. So um, if this is for you, I heard you're about to start looking at the bigger picture of things. And um, once you start looking at the bigger picture of things, which is the assessing energy, really, really looking at the bigger everything, all the pieces of the pie, all the, the big, bigger scope of things. Um, but once you, you really look at it and you look at everything, the bigger picture, I heard you're going to start cutting off certain people in your life. For some, I feel strongly feel it's this energy, the relationship and the business partnership with somebody. I heard whoever you're about to cut off, whether it's one person or 50 people, they're about to be really shocked and pissed. Um, but you are about to really look at the bigger pictures, of, uh, picture of things and do what's best for you, basically. That's what I'm feeling. Boundaries. A particular Pisces is about to really set up boundaries. 
to protect from toxicity. A particular search warrant is about to become very significant in a Pisces life. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So her particular Pisces uh, is about to start setting boundaries for themselves. I think it's against this business um, collaboration, partnership, and the relationship for some of you guys. Um, for some, it could be against anything else. But um, And then a particular search warrant is about to become very significant in a Pisces life. So you could be issuing this search warrant. You could be helping issue this search warrant. Or you could be the one being search warranted in your home. You plug it in how it resonates. We have boundaries, so um, you plug it in how it resonates. A particular Sagittarius is about to call the police on a Pisces. This Pisces never thought they would. Oh my God. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. So her particular Sag is about to call the police on a Pisces. They never thought they would. Holy crap. So somebody's, there's some kind of search warrant energy. Like I said, you could be the one helping issue it, or you could be the one having the search warrant issued to you. I mean, then a Sag is about to call a, the police on a Pisces, I heard the Pisces never thought the Sag would. And that could be the assessing and setting up boundaries maybe with the Sag after they call the police on you possibly, maybe for some. Um, you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates with you, um, if that resonates. All right, you guys, we're done. Let me see if I hear anything else. A particular Pisces is about to switch employment. Respectable career. Toxic environment. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. Healthcare for some. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates, so it resonates for you. So some of you guys work in healthcare. I heard it, you are an employee in a respectable career, but it's a toxic work environment. So you're going to switch a work places of work, um, not careers, just your place you work because it's a toxic work environment. Um, I heard it's a respectable career, and it sounds like for some of you guys, it's in healthcare. So kudos to you. I've had to do that. Kudos to you. All right, you guys. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.